Well, Money in Main Street is back with more small business advice in our CEO sit down. Today it's coming from Bill Corbett Jr. Bill is president of Corbett Public Relations and he's an award winning professional public and media relations guru. So mm -hmm. it's good to have you, Bill. Excellent We're talking here. about. Um, personal brand assessment. Mm -hmm. Now, um, there is the problem of many business owners and uh, individuals not projecting the right and consistent message and image, um, and that's both online as well as in real life. Right. Uh, what can this lead to? What kind of problems? Well, anytime you have something that's inconsistent, it causes confusion, right? Yeah. So when I walk into a networking event, I'm wearing my suit, I'm, I'm acting professional, I'm talking in a professional way. But if I have something online, say a Facebook page where I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt and I'm yeah. partying all the time, you know, that's not the same message. That's kind of confusing. And Good if I'm point. not the CEO of a, a Hawaiian tropic or something, then there's something going on here that doesn't match. Yes, we have to keep our personal and our business things separately, but we also have to keep our message consistent. And I'm about business, I'm about, you know, we're Working with businesses to help them to grow, market themselves, and be you know be better be better at that. So sure. that's what the message that I want to convey in the real world as well as right. You need to keep that personal mm -hmm. and 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 uh, public image separate, or or you will have some problems. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get to some other. Um, solutions and you want to start with researching your business sure. online see what pops up when you google your business absolutely and then and if you're kind of lazy at doing this you can do what's called a google alert it's if you have a gmail account you can create an automatic you can put your name in there bill corbett with quotations around it because quotations will search for just that phrase mm -hmm. you know and then and then if your name is ever mentioned there's a couple other bill corbett's in the world i'll get some emails every once in a while and i'll see what that is, but I just I do interviews and other things, so I want to see what where those uh, news articles and other things are popping up. So that's yes. one. Two, you want to certainly do a Google search, and three, you want to look at. Uh, all of your social media platforms, whether it's LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, you know, uh, Instagram, and make sure that the little bio part is accurate. Mm -hmm. You know, people Up change jobs, you know, yeah. or they have a new position or have a new just approach to business, or maybe they've changed careers completely. Yeah, you, know, and so you course, want to make sure that's all consistent. There's Yelp for, sure. for businesses on Main Street and uh, social yep. media posts. You want to examine those reviews. Oh, well, you want to look at the reviews because you know that you want to know what, what people are saying about you, yeah. and if they're saying good things great. If they're saying not so good things, you need to know and how to address, think about how to address it. Is it good to address a negative review uh, or better to let it go? I mean, I guess it depends. It's case by case. It depends but on the general, situation, but what do you I, think? I think a, a, a bad review is actually one of the greatest gifts a business can receive. Interesting. Because now they know that uh, people are not happy with what's going on. A lot of times when people, you know, uh, aren't happy with your business or they've had a bad experience, you know, you, you have to address those things. And if you can address it and, and communicate that effectively, mm -hmm. that we're, we're fixing that problem, then you're going you're to be much better off in that with that particular potential client or client mm. and then telling people that you care and you're listening. What about your LinkedIn profile? How mm -hmm. pervasive is that in terms of personal brand assessment? It's, it's, your LinkedIn profile is where your personal brand lives. Yes. Your blog and your video is where it comes to life. Mm. You know, so if, you're, if your brand is inaccurate, say you've changed jobs or you're doing different things, you have different responsibilities, or your photo is wrong, uh, it's 10 years old. Or no old, photo at all. Or, well, only one in seven people will even look at your LinkedIn profile if you don't have a photo. So you're already, you can imagine. You, so you're at a competitive distance advantage if your if your profile is out of date your photo isn't there mm -hmm. and you're not active on LinkedIn that, that's really where your personal brand lives this is for business owners as well as individuals who work within organizations a lot of times their information isn't on a company website interesting and you can have someone do that for you too if you can't get into it what about mm -hmm. some proactive steps you mm -hmm. talk about having a clear mission what do you mean by that well you have to understand what you're about what you know what do you want to do with your career and within your business so you want to state that when someone reads your LinkedIn profile they should understand why they should work with you, mm -hmm. not the person down the street who may do something similar. Yes. Uh, two, you want to you know consistently look around and make sure that you're, again your content is all accurate online and you're projecting the right message mm -hmm. on LinkedIn. If people are endorsing you for the wrong thing, yes, then you, you, then then there's a messaging is wrong. So you have to figure out a way to address that and, and put out content that works. That's important. And also deleting old accounts. You know, I was uh, tweeting something recently right. and I looked someone up or a business mm -hmm. up and they had multiple accounts. Mm -hmm. So the tweet that I had written was an old account. Right. They ended up finding me and retweeting, but right. I think you really do need to stay day-to-day -day current mm -hmm. uh, on especially social media. We well, want to make it easy for people to find you learn about you and then again if you're investigating some of these things if you have dormant accounts or old accounts you know delete them get rid of them and then th that's that's really a way to move forward with your brand into the future all right thank you so much bill corbett of corbett public relations it's nice to have you 